Hi everybody, Paul here from Hill Country Rings and we're going to make a ring from a bowling pin. So let's go in the shop. So I got a custom order for a engraved tungsten core ring uh, wrapped in the wood of a bowling pin. And this is for someone who has several 300 games, perfect games. So they're a big bowler and uh, so I took this bowling pin and stripped it of its cover and if you've never stripped a bowling pin of its cover don't it's not fun it's a it's a very laborious and tedious process but here it is this is the inside of that bowling pin and uh, I've already cut a couple of pieces of it and uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and stable this wood along with some MLB baseball bat and then we'll be ready to put this on the lathe and turn it flat, bore it out and mount it to the ring core and then uh, finish up the ring. Here's that tungsten core with a piece of wood from a bowling pin. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the lathe, flatten it on both sides I uh, got a 23 millimeter Forster bit, so we're going to uh, bore it out and we'll try to get it close to that 8 millimeter thickness. We don't want to go too thin though, and then uh, we'll go ahead and mount that ring. So we got the ring blank flattened out and bored out, so it fits that ring core very tightly, very snug, very snug. So now we are going to clean him up with denatured alcohol. Then we're going to bond the ring core into the wood with a two-part epoxy. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we just let it sit overnight. Well here's that piece of bowling pin all mounted to the core. So now we're going to go put him on the on the lathe and turn him down to size. Going to do some hand sanding on both sides to get him nice and flat. Uh, put him back on the lathe and maybe do some final shaping and then uh, put on his finish and polish him up. So let's go do that. Alright, everybody's favorite part of the video, I know it's mine, hand sanding. So let's go ahead and sand the edges really nice and, and uh, flush with the metal. So let's start with this side.
I think that's got it. As you can see, I go through an awful lot of sandpaper, but uh, it's always good to use good sandpaper or new sandpaper and not keep using the same old stuff because you get to the point where you're not even sanding it, you're just rubbing it. So I think we got it down nice and flush. So now we're going to put it back on the uh, lathe and shape it again and then be ready for finishing. So we got it nicely shaped, got it on this non-stick mandrel, and going to put it on the little rotisserie and put on the clear finish. See, it's kind of shaped, kind of rounded. So, uh, getting close to the end. <laughs> Here's what's left of that uh, bowling pin. I might hang that on my wall. It's pretty cool. It was bare getting that off. But here's that ring. And uh, ready to go out to the customer. All shined up. This guy has several 300 games. Perfect games. And uh, I'm lucky to break 100 even with the little kids bumpers on the, on the lane. So, thanks for watching. If you'd like a ring made from a bowling pin, the wood of an M1 Garand, the deck of a battleship, uh, Miss Texas Mesquite, uh, just any kind of wood that you'd like. If you've got some special wood that you'd like a ring made from, let me know. I do custom work. So, thanks everybody. I'd love to make a ring for you.